Coach, obviously the cold is a huge factor out there. How do you prepare for the game while keeping your team healthy? Yeah, I mean, the weather's the weather. At the end of the day, that, that's what it comes down to. You know, we talked about it before, the, before we slipped out of the field for practice and, and even uh, earlier today before we got prepared for practice was, you know, you gotta, you got to worry about staying warm, but the main focus is to make sure you're able to play, play up to your standard, um, and, uh, and be able to play the game tomorrow and, and get through practice today. So the weather's the weather. Um, we deal with it. We roll with it. And we talked about it last year. You know, we, we spend all fall, uh, starting back in August, playing for the right to play in bad weather. Um, and so we're, we're ready to go. Um, we'll, we'll deal with uh, the conditions as they are. Um, and we'll play anybody, any place, anywhere, anytime. And that's really our mindset. What was the goal of this practice today? Um, was it somewhat getting used to the field? Yeah, we wanted to get used to a new environment. Uh, the field's a little bit smaller than we're used to, so we had to adjust to that a little bit. Um, and this, the conditions that we're going to deal with them tomorrow, um, you know, the, the cold, the wind, uh, snow on the ground, all that kind of stuff. And it's really just getting the, getting the legs underneath us um, after the flight yesterday and all that. So I uh, went through pretty much our normal pregame practice um, and to stay in routine, and uh, we'll be ready to go tomorrow. Does it make it any more exciting fa knowing that you're facing your rival this Matt, or tomorrow? Or, um, how does it affect your preparation? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a little bit easier. We, we, we know them pretty well. Um, they know us pretty well at this time. It's the seventh time we're going to play in the last two seasons. Um, and, uh, and we're, you know, uh, I think we'd always like to play somebody else. Um, but, uh, you know, anytime you get a chance to get in the field and play against Grand Valley, we know it's going to be a tough game. We know it's going to be uh, an intense game. Um, and so, uh, and we'll get ready to roll. So, you know, somebody's got to get the leg up in this, uh, this rivalry over the last two years, and, and we'll do everything we can to be the one that does that tomorrow. After the, ways, after the way this season had started, how much fun has it been with this team making it all the way here? Yeah, I mean, at the, at, the end of the, at the end of the year, once it's all said and done, whenever that happens, you're going to take a look back and, and just realize, you know, how remarkable this season's been, how great this season's been, and really appreciate it for what, it, for what we've gone through. Um, you know, we talked about it throughout the season. We've gone through a lot of different adversity this year um, and a lot of things that, that most teams don't have to go through. Um, and, and I told the players before, you know, we're still standing here, we're still smiling, we're still getting ready for the next match. And so, you know, those are the life lessons that they're going to carry with them long beyond uh, past this season um, and right now it's just about enjoying the ride uh, and when worrying about what's next and right now all we can do is prepare for Grand Valley tomorrow at noon um, and beyond that you know we gotta we, we, we can't really look any further than that and so I know this team will be ready to go um, you know they're gritty uh, they grind um, and we're gonna go out and work hard and, and hopefully do the things that are necessary to put us in a position uh, to come away with a result at the end of the game and that's all that I can ask of them as a coach. Coach, thank you so much for the time and good luck tomorrow. Thank you.